<laughs> oh boy. I am having the time of my life. <laughs> oh boy. This is so much fun. <laughs> Oh, let's go look at Tattoo Taint. <laughs> oh, boy. Welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance. My name is Christopher Bell. I'm a certified public accountant. I'm a long-term bulk lead investor. I'm author of the book Stop Being a Broke Loser. And I'm a hater of Jeremy LeFoufou, financial education, the idiot that bought some of the most garbage, unprofitable, stinky, disgusting, worthless, no future stocks I have ever seen. Now, Jeremy is blaming everybody but himself for the market going down and his garbage stocks just plummeting. And it's not because they're unprofitable. No, it's me, Breath Kevin's fault. Now, LeFoufou put out a video. Look at his face. Okay, when did this come out? It came out today, this morning. Look at LeFoufou's face. Let me, can, hopefully you can see it. Anyway, I don't know if you can see this, but he looks like absolute hell. He looks like he's going through a tough, 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 tough time. Getting his freaking cheeks clapped. Now, like I said, he's blaming everybody but himself. And in this video, he blames me, Kevin. So let's watch and laugh. And I'm just, I'm just enjoying this, okay? I've been calling this for the past year, year and a half, and it's finally happening, and I'm going to freaking enjoy it. And if you don't like it, go somewhere else. Let's watch Jeremy. <laughs> well, folks, uh, to get me to record a video at 8.30 a.m., you know um, some stuff's got to be crazy. I'm sure you guys have seen the market. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's a bad day. It's a bad day. You know why he's tired? It's because he's, he's getting a rock of coal shoved up his ass down to the mines because he has to make extra money to support his lifestyle because his stocks sure aren't doing that. <laughs> Right. Uh, Nasdaq down 3%. Russell's down 1.6%. Now, that is a move for the Russell that's not anything crazy. Um, you would expect a lot of your stocks to be down 1%, 2%, 3%, maybe some 4 or 5% movers that if they're really like doing an outsized move here today on a day like that when the Russell's down like that. And I'm talking about small caps, right? You would expect something like that. It the index is down a little bit. Okay. I mean, indexes, indexes can go down. I mean, they don't usually have massive fluctuations, but yeah, yeah, index is down. Okay. I'll just keep dollar cost averaging. And um, obviously over this weekend, we know Big K-Dog, he put out his massive video to his massive audience um, that he sold out of all his stocks, right? So let's go ahead and let's take a look at how YouTube stocks are doing today. There's certain stocks we all know of on this uh, platform that are very, very popular. They get a lot of videos made about them. They're always a subject to debate. People have big ownership positions in them. So I'm interested to see what happens a day. If you hear the term YouTube stock, run run and head for the hills and don't look back because what you're about to see is what about to happen to you if you buy these stoinks after obviously kevin goes from buying the dip ultra bullish to all said i sell out of everything oh he's shorting the market now like what happens after that day okay Woo -wee! we'll see what happens after that day palantir stock down 10 percent we know palantir is a very popular stock here on youtube and pretty sure lafufu bought that in uh tom gash how y'all doing now, boys? Oh, and it's not profitable. <laughs> I like how Yahoo still says it's uh, overvalued at $12. People sold out of that like it was uh, going to zero today or something like that. Sells out like every share in sight being sold in Palantir today. That's not even a small cap and they're just still, but this is a YouTube stock. And when you have the biggest YouTuber in the stock market space, Kevin, all of a sudden saying, I'm selling everything, I'm shorting the market. People are gonna, f you know, freak out. And that is... It was all Kevin's fault. It's not because I pick garbage stocks. No. No! <laughs> it's because of Kevin! Me, Kevin! Woo! Clearly what is going on with the YouTube stocks here today. Look at Neo stock. Neo stock, very popular on YouTube. Down 12% here today. 12 mm, stock mo. How's Neo doing, bro? <laughs> I bet he's still getting subscribers, though, and Patreon members. Of course, that's how it works. Stocks go down, you get more people. 12% just a massive move down. Uh, obviously, no one held more shares than Kevin and good old Tesla Maesla, right? <laughs> yes, meat breath Kevin was the reason that La Tesla went down 6%. It was meat breath, bro, bro. Trillion dollar market cap? 
Me, Kevin, can move that. Of course. Conspiracy theory, maybe. Hmm? Hmm? Tesla's more than just a YouTube stock, we all know that, but at the end of the day, who owns more Tesla shares than anybody else on YouTube? And by a lot, right? I know what- You know, maybe the hedge funds and the institutional investors watch Meet Kevin, and they use him as a buy and sell signal. Maybe that- maybe it's possible! Hmm. Maybe Meet Breath was the reason that this trillion dollar company went down 6%. Rrrr! What everybody else owns, and I know what he owned, and no one owned more than him, okay? Look at the chef here, Dave. <laughs> 11 percent it doesn't matter God. that thing got freaking annihilated damn i mean it went back up a little bit because god to dip but oh 11 and i think <laughs> i mean i can't predict where the stock's gonna go in the short term but it could go down to two bucks dollar fifty one dollar whatever there's no there's no bottom to tattoo truckers team no freaking bottom and of course this freaking loser just Look at his face. He's just capitulated. He knows. He knows he's done, son. Matter about the chef's future. None of that matters. It's sell by any means necessary here today. Look, like, that's just unbelievable, really. Look at Corsair Gaming. Corsair Gaming, another popular YouTube stock. Corsair Gaming had been holding up very steadily, right? Well, Corsair Gaming was down um, like 2% year to date. Corsair Gaming here today down over 11%. Just a massive move down. FUBU TV, FUBU, whatever you want to call it, down 10.5% here today. Skills, this is another one of those type of stocks, right? Down 10 plus percent here today. Lemonade stock mm. down. Isn't this just glorious? This is so, so glorious. I'm just enjoying myself. I love it. Having the time of my life. <laughs> 10% tier today. The moves are just massive. It is a straight up panic sell. So, 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 so. There's, there's, um, you know, just people are freaking out right now. Just an absolute freak out. Like I've honestly, I don't think I've ever really seen this bad of a freak out. When it comes to these stocks have already been heavily devastated, right? This isn't like we're in some situation where, you know, stocks have been flying high and it's like, oh yeah, we were due for a big sell off. You know, these stocks were up big time or something like that. We were due for a big downward day. No, oh. they actually are up big time. You go back to when they IPO a lot of them are still up and they're still massively overvalued because they don't make positive cash flows. <gasps> This is such a hard concept, okay? An unprofitable stock that loses money every freaking quarter has no bottom. None. It can go down massively and keep going. But this idiot's like, oh, dude, it's going to go up in the time zone. All the stocks I just showed you, pretty much all those stocks outside of maybe Tesla, is down 50 plus percent from highs. A lot of those stocks are down 60, 70 percent from highs, okay? It's not like these stocks are just down, um, you know, uh, like like a little bit or like they've been flying high. That's not the situation. They're just getting absolutely devastated and people are, are just selling. And in a situation like this, I'm just nothing but disappointed, unfortunately, right? Um, that just uh, folks are choosing not to buy the dip in great company. When LaFufu's disappointed, I'm having a good, good day. Companies, some of them great companies that have unbelievable futures and they're just saying you know i don't care i'm just i want out of this market and um when you get that sort of flip um you know it's just vicious and that's what you get a day like today where countless of these stocks is down 10 percent or so and um you know yeah uh, you know I i'll cover this more in depth i just like you know pretty shocking well Fufu, you better get your little butt down to the coal mines get some more pickaxes shoved up your butt you gotta make more money to keep buying those dips it's gonna go up eventually right i mean in the future right Right? <laughs> uh, nonetheless, but should I expect it? Uh, I guess not. You know, a lot of people, you know, trade off a certain person's opinion. And if that person goes from ultra bullish to selling out of everything and shorting, they're, they're, they're not going to even think about it. They're just going to sell everything in sight. And so that's how you get the Russell going down 1.6% YouTube stocks down 10% today. Uh <laughs> Blaming everybody but himself. <laughs> and then if Taint goes up 1% tomorrow, oh my genius! Um, like, a, like a move that's just so unnatural. It's like, the, the, you know, so anyways, guys, whew, crazy. Uh, I obviously got to cover a lot more later today when, you know, I, I get a little more awake here, but that's nuts. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Like, subscribe, tell your friends about me. Don't listen to Jeremy Financial Education. He's a freaking moron. This is what happens when you buy unprofitable companies once all the hype dies down. And y'all have a wonderful, delicious night. Cheers!